teens and welcome to some more Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battles uh, in full definition and instead of me recording from the, the camera and actually putting so much effort into it. Um, yeah, I finally got my ca uh, capture card and literally this cuts my time in half as far as making Wi-Fi battles. So um, weekly, I have really no excuse to not make at least weekly Wi-Fi battles now, which I was always promising but i just kind of not stopped and didn't do it uh because because of this very reason i really needed a capture card um i just didn't like how they were turning out and it was too much time uh to actually waste on that um anyways today i am fighting rupert again um the first First one in really good quality, which I'm really... Ah, I'm just so excited for this, guys. You don't even know. Anyways, looking at Rupert's team, he was he told me he was kind of just experiencing, experimenting with new pokes, so his team is eh. Um, I noticed pretty much almost everyone there is weak to mega, uh, my Mega Mega Charizard Y, whether it be Fire Type or Air... Uh, fire Blast or Air Slash. Um, which, by the way, I'm also going to bring up too. I noticed... Almost half my Pokemon, no, definitely half my Pokemon don't have the right moves that I was planning on doing it. I guess, like, it's been so long, I kind of forgot that I had crappier moves that I originally planned for this team, and not the ones that I've, like, modified and made it a little bit better. So, um, yeah, and also, fair warning too, there are a lot of hacks in this game. I'm not going to say which side it's on, but there are a lot of hacks in this game. So, uh, I guess we should just stop talking because it's been two minutes for this uh and go straight into the battle all right <clears throat> so i know i said mega charizard is strong against almost all his team but i decided to lead off with my flygon uh he leads off with his ninjask uh reason being very flygon i was scared he was going to predict me going to charizard because we battled before so i just i just decided to swap into him um here i didn't want to risk him going into a substitute so i'm just going to go into fire blast i'm choice banded not choice scarf because i don't have choice scarf in x and y yet so i'm just going to keep fire punching because i really don't want him to get a substitute up on me yeah he can baton pass into anyone he'll be faster than me but um i just really don't want uh, a sub up behind that because that is very threatening um, anyways, he swaps into his type 2, which is, you know, that's, that's kind of mean, that's kind of mean, Rupert. Uh, and I went for the Fire Blast and it did nothing, because maybe thick th fat, question mark. Uh, he, he Pursuit Traps me as I switch out into my Milotic, uh, just so I could take whatever hit he throws at me. He goes for the return, and, uh, he didn't have friendly list on his Snorlax, he herped, he herped so hard, but I feel bad for him. So, I guess that, that, that's probably, probably more forgiving for what's to come, uh, as you will see. Uh, I went for a Scald. Um, just because I'm trying to fish for a burn here, but, uh, he swaps into his Whimsicott, so, um, takes no damage from it. Uh, and here I'm like, okay, I could drop him to about 10% with an Ice Beam. I know I've done it many times before with Whimsicott, but he, I get the Parahax with that stupid Stun Spore that he used on me. Um, anyways, this turn, he is going to go for a U-turn, and I'm just going to keep going for an Ice Beam, because, you know what, it does a lot. Um, but I get more Parahax with this gosh- Darn, stupid, Milotic, um, and he accidentally swapped into Lucaria, he told me he meant to swap into Medicham at first, but whatever, I guess Paralyzed nulled that out, and I got Paralyzed yet again with me trying to go for a skull. He Mega Evolves into a Mega Medicham, as I assumed he would with that, and uh, goes for a Fake Out. I thought he was going to go for a Bulk Up or something, so I just wanted to try getting a burn on him too. Uh, didn't realize he had Fake Out, and I get more para hacks for the 4th or 5th turn in a row, so that's all cool and fun in games. I probably sw should have swapped into Drifloom there uh, when he went for the Fake Out, but I wasn't thinking that much. It was 2am in the morning when we were recording this, so or playing this. Uh, he goes for the Psycho Cut, does a lot more than I thought it would, so I'm just going to swap into my Forges here. Uh, I know I can't really do much, um, but that Drain Punch does suck too like he just he just got back all his hp which really really does suck so here i'm just gonna go try go for the aromatherapy because i'm sick with this para hacks but he winds up K uh KOing me with a psycho cut uh here i thought ghost was weak to psychic so i decided to swap into driftlum so i could get an acrobatics that would take out metacham right away but apparently it's not i survived the psycho cut either way i probably wouldn't have if it was super effective well i definitely wouldn't have if it wasn't super effective so i guess that's cool uh he swaps into his ninjerk uh, just for fodder damage, I guess, um, as I may evolve into my Mega Charizard, go straight for a Fire Blast. Um, and here, this is where I realize I do not have Air Slash on my Mega Char Charizard, and I'm like, well, damn, that's 
tits. Also, too, when I had my floor just out, I only had toxic. I didn't have aromatherapy, so I couldn't have even aromatherapy anyways. This little screwy cotton ball somehow outspeeds me. I don't even know how that's possible. Well, I guess I should know how that's possible. I just didn't know. It, it, just, it just doesn't make sense that it's so fast, but whatever. I get paralyzed, which is probably critical for him to actually have me paralyzed because I would have just swept his entire team otherwise. Um, I went for a focus blast on his Snorlax just to see how much it would do. It didn't do much. It wasn't. I wasn't pleased with it, so I just swapped into my uh, Marty McFlygon and go straight for the Earthquake just to get that stab and take him out uh, not worry about him for later. Um, here I know I need to keep Flygon and I know I really need to keep Charizard, so I'm just going to swap into my Milotic and um, try going for a Scald again with his Lucario, and I knew he I'd take whatever hit he'd throw at me. Then I find out he is a specially offensive Lucario, and I my heart stopped for a second when I saw that, and uh, him hitting me. Luckily I survived though, and um, managed to get the recover up. Uh, thank god for Marvel scale. <laughs> I, if I didn't have that par paralysis, so I guess it helped me in the end, I, I wouldn't have survived that hit, but that's always cool. Uh, here I'm going to swap into Charizard because it's pretty, it's so predictable he's going for rocks and he can't really touch me unless he has like, can Mamoslein learn rock slide or something? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but anyways, I swapped into my Mega Charizard just so I could get the sun up, sun up and go for a Fire Blast this turn, but I get the Parahax yet again. Um, he goes for the Dark Pulse, does a reasonable amount with his life or damage, and I get paralyzed again with the Fire Blast. So he's just going to keep going for his Dark Pulses, and this is just going to be fun, cool beans for me. I am totally not salty right now. Um, anyways, I finally do manage to get the Fire Blast up and take out his Lucario in one hit, so suck on that, Rupert. <laughs> suck on that. Um, anyways, I knew there was nothing. The, the Charizard was a lost cause at this point, so I let uh, him take him out. Uh, with the Drain Punch, so he gets his all his HP back now, and I thought I counted the right amount of turns for Sun, and the, I'd have one more with Victory Bell, but obviously, I am stupid and did not, the Sun wasn't up, so I wouldn't be able to get that Chlorophyll boost to take him out in one turn. Anyways, here, I know I'm going to outspeed with Marty, and go for an uh, Outrage, because I know Mamoswine's just going to shard me no matter what I do this turn, so why not get the stab 120 damage move out on him? Makes sense, right? Anyways, he's going to go for the out, uh, Ice Shard for priority, and take me out in one hit and here I'm like oh well I have the game wrapped up it's obvious that the game's wrapped up and um, I'm just gonna go for a scald as he goes for his ice shards because literally what else can he do there's nothing um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much the game guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video because this is this this is this is just I'm just so sick I'm just not so sick. I'm so pumped for this because I can actually do so much stuff with the 3DS now and actually record things. Maybe do some online battle spot videos or do something like that. Um, whatever the case may be, I am still super excited. Anyways, um, I guess, I guess, I guess leave a comment. Leave a comment for your friend codes. I want to find people. Use, follow my Twitter account. Anyways, whatever. Um, yeah. Anyways, whatever. That, that, that's what it is. Uh, my name's Guillotines or Alex, and I hope you guys all have a good and wonderful day.